Hello everyone, welcome back to Derail Valley. This is Abyssal Tech, and we are going to go get the Rail Slug. So the Rail Slug key, which is for Steve's garage here, can be purchased at the harbor in the little store there. And to find it, it's at that spur that runs off down into the mountains there. I'd driven back down there a little while back to try and figure out what was going on with that and it just dead ended. But anyway, so as you can see where I am here, this is the intersection right around the mountain here. Lined up. Reverse and let us go. Just remember there's a bit of a slope up this way, so you're going to remember reverse pretty easily out of here. Another thing to keep in mind, there's a pretty severe slope getting up to this. I tried it my earlier with the uh, 282 and it was struggling on some of these hills. Especially because you can't just really go all out. Because there's also some pretty severe speed limit restrictions on some of these turns. Yeah, almost a three degree slope. So what is a rail slug? Well, rail slug, which is a piece of railroad equipment that I totally did not just learn about today, is basically a stripped down diesel electric locomotive. In this game they use the D6 as the base. Basically once, normally they, while they can cut, they can actually build these things from scratch. Normally what they do is they take a old locomotive that's its engine's kind of worn out. Take the engine out and then just use the traction motors. Yeah, see? This is a real bad grade here. But sometimes I'm say keep the cab on it, even the controls, so you can actually control the train that doesn't have it with a locomotive that doesn't actually have an engine. Another check. I'm say pretty much remove most of the body of it and usually it's also filled up with cement to more to make up the weight for the missing engine diesel engine there so why do this well it's useful to keep it moving with the locomotive that still got some good parts in it but the engine's gone Yeah, see, there's a 10 kilometer an hour zone through here. Although it doesn't look that bad. Oh no, I'm doing 18. I'm surely to perish. At 20 kilometers an hour, breaking the law. Oh, that 
it is quite the drop. So usually when they want the slug to be used for helping with shunting operations, that's when they'll cut it down. If it's going to be used to haul long distance help haul long distances, then they'll usually leave the body and sometimes leave the cab back on. Apparently uh train drive the engineer actually and most engineers will actually prefer to control a long distance train from the slug as it is much comfier ride. You know, you don't have that giant diesel engine behind you, so anyway. When the, what are the advantages? Well, despite having more traction motors to uh, provide power, it's really ba mainly useful for when you're starting or you're in low speed heat operations. Turns out that the diesel generator and those locomotives at low speed produces way more power than it actually motors need or can actually use. This turns into an amperage, which turns into heat. So by having that engine run more, six more traction motors, you're actually spreading the electrical load over it, and it could actually use all that extra power. So not only do you have more pulling force from those motors, you're not going to overheat as much. So, as we've established, the DE2 can pull about a thousand tons dead stop on level ground. I haven't done any real tests to see what the six can pull, but I imagine it's quite a bit. So, but yeah, when I did that thousand ton pull, I had to shut down the motors at least once to just get it up over five just because I was overheating so bad. Game got a little twitch there. Yep. Almost at the garage. Should be right around this corner. So, this is the slug in the game is clap. Apparently, there's only the one in career mode here. And there's a the garage. And it's classified as a work train unit. So, once you've unlocked the garage and gotten it open, and not run into it. Put on my handbrake there because I don't trust the pneumatics. Oof. Slow dramatic open. And here we are. Behold its glory. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. You might have noticed that my DH4 here has a nice blue CSX paint job. Yeah. Installed a few mods. Waiting for this one that does custom rail cars to be updated. Because then I can pull some spicy trains.
Okay, so I don't think I could use, I don't have the multiple unit license, so I don't think I could use this thing yet, anyway. That's okay. give myself too much gas because once I start going downhill it's gonna be some bad braking behavior here. Still has the fans on it. Normally they block those off or just remove them. Anyway, so there's another weird kind of hybrid where if you burn out your you lose your traction motors due to damage or just wear and tear beyond what they're reasonable to replace them. You can turn your train your locomotive into what's called a snail. Where you have a sometime can or cannot have a cab, but it's basically an engine on wheels and could provide power. So you could end up in situations where you got a snail powering slugs. Yeah, trains are weird. Let's see if the dynamic brake will keep me from getting into too much trouble going downhill here. say now. I'm kind of tempted to just let the brakes out all the way, see uh, how well the dynamic can kind of keep me. Okay, what just happened? Oh, yeah, I went through a tunnel. I guess they still haven't fixed that bug yet. Yeah, where uh, stuff will fall off your locomotive. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, that was annoying. Yeah, tunnels. The bane of most locomotive drivers. For some reason, all of you, on the diesels, all of your stuff comes just flying off. Wait, the... Ooh. 5.5 down. This is going to be interesting. Well, like I said, we got uh, dynamic brakes here. Let's see what they can do. Apparently they work pretty well. Although it heated up the oil quite a bit. So I'll probably stick this on one of the little side service sightings here until I figure something to do with it. Now that I have it, of course, you can request a work train, caboose, or slug. It'll cost you some money, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The other people on YouTube keep telling me that this works for the algorithm. So, we'll see.